量 to measure. If you remember, we actually just solved this word in the previous lesson. In lesson two, liang originally appeared as part of liang ci, where it had a fourth tone and meant quantity, capacity, or amount. We also mentioned that when liang is read with a second tone, it becomes the verb to measure. For clarity, the following sentence means: How much can my cup hold? Please help me measure. 我的杯子能装多少量？请帮我量一下。身高 height. As we just learned, 身 means body, life, or oneself. So when we pair it with 高 which means tall or high, 身高 becomes height. While、well, we've already seen a first tone word in this lesson, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity for some first tone practice with a double first tone word like 身高 Here we go. Sing it with me. 身高身高身高体重 Weight. Only three short vocabulary words ago, we learned that "ti" from 身体 means body. I'm happy to report that since that time, its meaning has yet to change. Therefore, when we add 重 which means heavy or serious, the result 体重 is literally body heaviness, which we can safely say. Better translates as weight. 抽血 to draw blood. 抽 means to draw out, to pull from, or to remove a part of something. 血 simply means blood. Therefore, it's not much of a stretch for us to understand that 抽血 then means to pull or draw blood. In this day and age, many countries demand blood tests before granting long-term visas. In both China and Taiwan, this is also the case. If you're planning on heading to either place for an extended stay, be ready to 抽血照 X 光 take an X-ray. 照 Has a few different meanings, but here it is a verb meaning take, as in 照相 or take a photo. 光 means light or ray, so you may be able to guess from the X. X 光 means X ray. Hence, when putting them all together, 照 X 光 means, of course, take an X ray. 抽烟 to smoke. We only just learned with 抽血 that 抽 means to draw out, to pull from, or to remove a part of something. 烟 means cigarette, tobacco, or smoke. So if one is to 抽 draw, pull, or drag from a cigarette, 烟 this is what we all know as smoking. Or in Mandarin, 抽烟喝酒 drink alcohol. 喝 is the verb which means to drink, and 酒 is often the object of this verb and means alcohol. Memorizing 喝酒 probably won't be hard, as with many cultures around the world. Drinking is also quite common and popular among Chinese. Don't be surprised when your Chinese friends ask you to, 我们去喝酒吧 That's go drink. 偶尔 occasionally. 偶 means 
accidentally or by chance. Well, er here means thus, so, or like that. This might be a little too involved an explanation as these two characters have no relatable meanings when separated. So having said that, let's commit our to memory as a standalone word meaning sometimes, once in a while, or occasionally. 我偶尔喜欢去喝酒 I like to drink occasionally.